Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bianca Kareen if you're new. And in today's video, we will be doing a little haul and lookbook. I recently went to the mall, like the physical mall. Like I didn't online shop, which is what I always do. I went to the mall and like browse some sales and stuff and I actually picked some things up. So I have some things here from Forever 21, Macy's, and H&M. You don't see an H&M bag because apparently H&M charges for their bags now. I don't know when they started doing that, but that's like crazy. I don't even live in a big city for y'all to be charging for bags. That's a little weird. So yeah, it's in one of my Macy's bags, the H&M item. But I will give like an overview of what each item is and I'm gonna try it on and um, style it a few ways for you all. So the first thing I got was at Forever 21. I got this top. This is so cute. I'm like the most excited for this little top. It's like this blue, powder blue, like polo collared shirt, but it's a halter in the back. So I think this will be really cute with like, I need to get a little tennis skirt, um, how those are really in right now, but really like a cute preppy look, but I feel like I can style it in a few different ways. So this is gonna be a really good summer, spring, summer piece for me. Then the second top, I got two tops and four pants. Um, the second top is just a basic black tank top type top, and but it's like V-neck, which I like. I don't have, if anyone knows me, they know I love a turtleneck mock neck situation. So it's like always covered. And so I'm like, I need to get um, a neckline that's different, a nice little V-neck action show off the clavicle, you know what I mean? It's summer, we need to be a little bit out, so got this. And then I got these pants. These are like, I like these because they're high-waisted, they're black, they flare um, at the bottom. And I feel like with the material, you can get away with it in so many different ways. Like these can be lounge pants, this could be running errands, I can dress these up and go out in them, like. I feel like these are legit pants, not just lounge pants. So like, they're like, they can go in and out of different scenarios. So I really like this. So I'm gonna style this in a few different ways as well. Um, then moving on to Macy's, I got some more pants. So the first pair of pants was from Forever 21. Then Macy's had these leather pants. One thing about me, I don't need a single another pair of leather pants. I have a whole drawer full of just leather pants. It's kind of ridiculous. I kind of went through a phase and apparently the phase isn't over. Um, I was shopping with my mom and my mom found these. These are cuffed. I kind of like them cuffed like this, but I'll undercuff it. Um, my mom found these and was like, just try it on. And then I tried them on and they were so like perfect. <laughs> they were so cute. Um, it comes with this little belt. And it's just a different cut. It's like a more classier leather pant. I feel like I have leather, leather joggers, which are casual. I have leather um, leather pants that are like the skin tight, like kind of sexy rocker looking leather pants. But I don't have like a grown, sophisticated, elegant leather pant like that. So I was like, mm, I think I might get some good use out of that. Just add it to the leather pant collection. Um, then what else macy's still i got uh these pants i like them because i love green i love olive it's like that olive um mint any like light green shade i really love i think it really complements my skin tone and i'm an aka so you know i love green um but these are high-waisted and they're skinny at the bottom, but they have like this nice seam that runs down the middle and they looked really good on. And so I grabbed them because I love anything high-waisted. Um, and even though I know the trend is kind of going back to low waist, but I'm a high-waist girl. And I'm like, okay, I need them. They were so cheap. But I'm like, how can I style it? So I'm gonna like try to play with different ways to style these pants in this video to see if I'm gonna like get my money's worth. But they were only like $9. So even if I don't get my money's worth, like they were so cheap, it kind of doesn't matter. 
Um, then the last pair of pants were from H&M. Um, and they're these like, what do you call it? These like fancy flare pants. They're sequins, black, just occasion pants. You know, I can see these being like great for the holidays or just like um, a fancy night out that you don't want to wear uh, like a dress to or just like going out and getting dressed up but it's like fall winter even spring um for those who live in like colder climates you know what i mean where it's like i don't want to compromise um my warmth for cuteness so it's like good to have different options so i put these on i like the way they fit they're a little high-waisted they flare out um i was iffy about them but then i saw the price they were like five dollars so i was like oh I might as well have them in the closet for five dollars you know give it a try so i'm gonna try to style these a few ways as well so um yeah i'm gonna jump into some of the outfits and we'll see how it goes so so this is the first outfit this is the powder blue polo halter situation um i really like this so i paired it with like some white brunchy pants like palazzo pants little wide leg action so like this is like a way to dress them up i have on some flat sandals with this but uh, you can even probably like pop on like a little cute little heel situation um yeah so this is one way i would style it obviously the powder blue goes really well with the white it's like pastel vibe um if i got a tennis skirt it would be in white and i just uh, i think that would be so cute with this um, but yeah, this is the first look. <laughs> okay, so this is the next look. Um, a different way to style this top. I wanted to do something that was more casual, a little less obvious than styling it in a preppy way with white. Um, and I don't know, I personally, you can obviously style this with denim if you want to. I would suggest a dark denim because... If you do a light denim, I feel like the powder blue and the lighter denim may clash a little bit, just in my opinion. Um, but I wanted to try something different and put it with these cargos to really like make it feel, I don't know, a little streetwear-ish. Um, compare it with like some sneakers. Um, and this can be a different summer type look. I can see this being like a concert outfit or something uh, casual, but kind of cute at the same time. So this is another way to style it. <laughs> okay, so this is the black tank top. I really like it. It's super smooth. I like the material. It kind of is like bodysuit material, but it's not a bodysuit. And um, yeah, I paired it with these shorts. I figured I wanted to like experiment with like a different type of short, not just regular like denim shorts, but like uh, a nice pair of shorts, like a little pattern situation, but still very simple. Um, I've paired it with some black sandals but you can definitely pair it with i'm thinking like you could even do like a strappy heel a strappy heel sandal um and even you probably could throw a jacket over this like a denim jacket or something simple like that even as i look at this particular outfit dang you could like do a pop of color i could see you like having a red like a red sandal or something like that i love black white and red like that's always a classic combo um, so definitely, definitely very versatile. Um, but yeah, I'm going to switch out and try a different look with this top. <laughs> okay, so this is another way to style it just with some random jeans, just any old jeans. Um, very simple, but I was talking about that pop of red and that got me inspired. So I threw on like these red sandals, um, heels, so you can kind of definitely dress this up or you can wear it with the same black flat sandals that I had on earlier, um, dress it up, dress it down. And then I went and grabbed this bag because I thought it was really cute. Um, so just kind of incorporate a color. It's like a nice basic neutral that you can mix and match with. So yeah, that's look number two with this top. I might try one more, so. Okay, and this is the final look with this top. Again, super simple, goes with everything I paired it with this black skirt um, that has like some drapey action. So it literally can like, I'm looking over into the mirror. Uh, it can literally kind of pass as a dress. So I really like this um, 
the versatility of this. I just paired it with some regular uh, clear heels just for um, demonstration purposes, but you can really pair this with any shoe, any accessories, like it's a blank canvas. So again, really like this top. I can wear it up, dress it up, dress it down. So excited for this one. Okay, so this is the next look, the green pants. I really love them. I was a little concerned because I don't know, I love skinny jeans, but I don't know why I feel like, or a straight leg, but I don't know why I was like, mm. I don't know, I always be concerned with the straight leg of like what the shoe is gonna be. I love a boot, so like you can always tuck it into a boot. Um, but I was like, I don't know, but with the heels, it looks perfectly fine. Um, so I paired it with this top. Obviously, simple white top kind of goes with everything. You can always pair a white top uh, with any bottom. And yeah, I love, again, the high-waistedness of it all. It's super smooth and clean looking. And so I think these pants are gonna be my go-to crop top pants. So it's like, do I wanna wear a cute crop top? I'm gonna you know, reach for these. So um, yeah, very cute. Love how it turned out. And so we'll get into some more, more styling options. And yeah, let's look at the next look. Okay, so this is the next look. I really love it. Again, this is actually a bodysuit, but the top kind of stops up here. So kind of the same as a crop top. Um, but I really like this combo, how this came out. Again, I'm an AKA, so I love some pink and green. So this is a very cute spring summer option. Um, again, I'm just kind of pairing this with these clear heels for now, but I feel like you could probably, you know, interchange the heel out. Um, you might can get away with like some real cute espadrilles. I don't know. I would have to play with that, but I definitely like how these particular shoes look with it. Like these are going to be my go-to shoe to style these pants with. Um, but yeah, this is look number two. So this is another top to style these pants with. Um, I really like this. As you can see, there's like a pattern with the pastels because this green kind of works as like a spring green pastel color. I paired it with white, with the peach pink, um, and now this powder blue is actually pinstripe blue and white, but kind of gives like a light blue effect. But yeah, um, just another way to style these pants. I'm like, I like it, but I'm not 100% sold on it. Um, but again, just another option. Okay, okay. I, I, so these are the sophisticated leather pants. Um, they're really flattering. They're really cute. I paired it with this simple black um, corset top um, just to kind of make it interesting, show off some skin because it's very covered. It's a little bit of a high waist action. Love the belt situation. I think it just adds a little touch to it. Um, I paired it with some silver heels just to kind of pull in from the belt buckle and the hardware. Uh, yeah, I feel like I thought these would be easier to style than they actually are, but that's okay. We're going to play around with it, but this is the first look. I'm not mad at it. Okay, so this is a different way to wear these pants. I, as I said earlier, love a little turtleneck situation, but again, it's bringing in a little sexy because I got the skin showing a little peekaboo action. So I think this is like a fun, cool way to wear these pants. Um, I still have on the same silver heels with it. Um, but yeah, I'm not mad at this look either. I feel like you probably could do some other cool accessory, maybe a statement earring or something. I'm not sure. Um, nine times out of 10, I'm wearing hoops, silver hoops likely. So this always goes, but yeah, I kind of like this take on it. Like throw a crop top on it. Whenever you have high waisted pants, use it as an opportunity to throw a crop top on. So <laughs> um, I think this is cute and fun and young, uh, sexy, but still kind of classy in a way. So this is look number two. Okay. Okay, so these are the sequence party pants. Um, they're cute. I still like them, but I feel like they're a little, a smidge young at the bottom. Like I wish it was like a smidge longer um, and flared out a little bit more, but I think it's okay. I definitely can get away with it. 
I paired it with this white corset top and these regular black heels, um, like sandal heels. And yeah, I feel like you could definitely pair this with like a nice necklace, um, cool earrings, you know, definitely accessorize in different ways, but this is just a simple pairing. Again, kind of simple up top and let the pants be the statement piece. So that is the first way to style it. Okay, so this is another way to style it. Uh, again, simple, all black. Um, find a shirt that is black and just have a cute silhouette, like something different, a little funky, but still simple. And this is what, that's what this is. I love like a little asymmetrical moment. I never knew how flattering it was on me. Um, so yeah, I decided to pair it with this, super simple. Again, same heels as before, um, but because once again, it's a blank canvas, definitely can mix out the accessories. So yeah, so this is the final item. These like, they're like yoga pants, but better. Um, they flare out at the bottom. I paired it with this black long sleeve crop top situation. And I feel like this is kind of, I classify this as like a going out top, um, but paired with this, it's dang near, it's super versatile. Like I'm sitting here thinking, where would I wear this to? But it's so cute. Like, I love it. I feel like a dancer. Like it's really, I feel like I can dance in it, like a dance class. <laughs> um, but I also feel like it's kind of cute lounge around the house. Like say you had like a date night in the house or your crush is coming over, y'all hanging out, but you just want something cute in the house. That's what this gives to me, like super cute. I I love it. Um, again, I don't have any pants, any black pants that are flare and come up high waisted like this and the material's really nice. I like it. I definitely would wear it in like more casual situations, but in my head I'm thinking, and I just paired it with some sandals for the purposes of this demonstration, but like I'm thinking if I paired it with a heel, would I go out somewhere with this? Like if styled right, I might play with this one a lot more because I really, I like this. So kind of, I don't know, you thought that the black pants would be kind of simple, like easy to style, but like paired with this, it's like, it's a whole different vibe and I like it. So, okay, on to the next look. Okay, so this is the final look. I paired it with this button up top that's kind of like see-through lacy like this I don't know silky lacy material um and it kind of was reminiscent of the pants like I feel like both the pants and this top have like that it's a certain material uh that's like breathable light and airy um again simple color palette black and white type vibe but a different take on these pants like the other one was more fitted this one is more loose um i tied it up at the top to just make it even more cropped a little more cinched and um feminine so yeah i really like this i would wear this out um again i would have to like think about the shoe i wouldn't mind wearing them with <laughs> just regular sandals um but probably could get creative with the shoe as well um and i feel like this outfit definitely screams for like a cute earring. I'm, I used to be such an earring girl. Uh, I think that's like an underrated way to style your outfit. So yeah. Um, yeah, this is the final look. Uh, thank you for hanging in there with me this whole time. If you watched to the end of this video, uh, I'm kind of, I'm really happy with the pieces that I got. A lot of them are simple. Um, and, but it can easily mix and match with a lot of things in my closet, as you have seen. And I'm kind of excited because adding these few pieces that I kind of didn't know that I needed, uh, but are just kind of basic pieces, it's kind of inspiring me to wear other pieces in my closet that I don't reach for that often. Like with these pants, this top and the previous top, I like barely wear them. I, I used to wear this one all the time, but I don't wear it anymore. Um, and then the other top I probably wore like once. But like having these pants to go with it, again, it's just kind of revitalizing the closet. It's like, oh, some of the stuff that's been collecting dust can get a new life because I can pair them with some of the pieces. So kind of obvious, but I just haven't done this type of little closet revamp in a while. Um, 
So I'm very, very satisfied with my purchases. Thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.